thought I'd do this video on um, how your XF actually charges its battery and this is something I noticed um, mostly because my car is fitted with the mp3 player that I featured uh, previously in a video and this mp3 player when it's turned off um, actually tells you the voltage that the battery is actually charging at so I've noticed on hot days the battery is charging at 14.5 volts and on cool days such as today it'll charge at 14.9 volts. I always was under the impression that all cars charged the battery at 14.5 volts or 14.6 around there. I've been watching how it manages its battery uh, voltage. So I'm getting this message right now on my Kronos display. Many of you who own an XF have seen this message before. And the reason for that is because you can see my battery's voltage is only at 12.1 and it really ideally should be at around 12.3, 12.4. Um, my car hasn't been driven for a couple of days and it really does need a run. I haven't driven it since uh, four days ago. So when the car is running, the voltage is 14.9 and the reason for that is because today is a fairly cool day um, well my phone says 15 degrees but my car says 20 degrees but I've noticed as soon as the temperature goes above 22 degrees Celsius um, the battery tends to charge at 14.5 volts. So this is the reason I actually thought I'd do this video because I've seen on the Jaguar forums that a lot of guys are confused about what their car's battery is doing and um, you know, you don't, if you have one of these uh, MP3 players, it's, it's a very cheap thing to buy, uh, to plug into a lighter socket, and it tells you the voltage coming through from your car's alternator. So I can actually see how my alternator is charging the battery and that it is doing a good job. So when I get this low battery warning, it doesn't really mean that your battery is dead or your battery needs to be replaced. I mean, my battery is only two years old. So I know my battery is not faulty, I just don't drive the car enough. Also, if you do tend to start the car, move it out the garage and get something out and then start it again and put it back, um, that drains, it puts a massive drain on the battery and the battery doesn't get replenished because you're not driving the car on a trip. So I'm actually gonna take my car for a drive now because it really, really needs it. So I hope this helps you guys uh, realize that you know, there are times that your battery is going to charge um, at a very high voltage, like 14.9, like mine is right now. And there are times when it's not, and that's normal. It's not abnormal. Um, the XF has a battery uh, module that actually is connected to the battery and it monitors the battery's um, state at all times. So whether the car is parked, whether the car is running, whether it's idling, whether it's driving, the battery modules constantly monitoring um, the battery and it will decide what to do in terms of that. So your alternator is always charging at the same rate um, which would be around 15 volts but um, your battery control module will decide how many of those volts to send to the battery to charge it. Whether it needs to be trickle charged because you're driving the car a lot or you're on a long trip or whether um, you're doing short trips with the car and the battery needs a charge. So um, it's normal for um, an XF to do that. Now other Jaguars will probably have similar systems, you know later model Jaguars will probably have similar systems, I don't know about, I think the XJ does as well, possibly the XK and um, maybe some of the other um, models that are out now, um, like the F-Type and F-Base and so on. So I hope this video has helped you and um, you know if you've got questions about your car's battery, stay tuned, I do have some other videos coming out. Unfortunately I haven't been able to film much because I'm still waiting for some stuff to arrive from China and it's taken literally three months for my things to arrive and I've, I've sort of trickle received a few things I'm still waiting for some other stuff and I, I can't um, do the video on the taillights that I'd like to do the LED conversion for the amber and, and backup lights uh, I can't do that yet and um, I want to do the side markers on the headlight and the park uh, light bulbs 
um, with LED, sorry, the indicator bulbs with LED and the side markers with LED. So that will be coming up shortly, hopefully not too long from now. So do stay tuned and I hope you guys are also enjoying the other videos I'm putting up from Jaguar. If you own an XF, you actually feel part of the Jaguar family. So, um, you know, whether you're driving an XF or an F-Type or an F-Pace or an I-Pace or an E-Pace or um, whatever pace you're driving, uh, you feel part of the family. So thank you for watching and stay tuned for the other videos coming up. Cheers. Bye.